Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how to manage Forta switches via the firewall. So let's get started adding our Forta switches to our security fabric. So if you see in the security fabric menu item, physical topology, this is going to be where you see the access layer switches. And to get started, we're going to go to Wi-Fi and switch controller. We're going to go to Fortalink interface. And out of the box, it has port A and port B on the firewall connected. I do not want to automatically authorize devices, but I am going to want to do Fortalink split interface because I'm going to create a loop that uh, gives us redundancy. So I'm going to hook up the 24 port switch off of port A, and then I'm going to chain it to the 8 port switch, and then I'm going to hook up the 8 port switch to port B. Uh, so right now let's go downstairs and let's actually get our links hooked up and we'll see what this looks like. All right, so we've got these both staged. This is plugged into port A on the firewall and I'm going to plug it into port 24 on this switch. So when we refresh the screen, we can see that port A is now connected to port 24 on that switch and it's picking up one Forta switch. So we're going to go to manage Forta switches here and we're going to authorize this switch. All right, so it took a few minutes for it to come online and the firmware on this is a little bit older. So now that it's showing online and managed, um, I should be able to go into upgrade and we want to upgrade it to 7.0.1. All right, so it's doing its thing right now. And if we look at the logs, we can see that the software upgrade completed. User Fortalink restored the image. to 7.0. The echo message timed out, tunnel went down, and then it came back up. Switch controller connected, calf web tunnel restored. Now it's back online and we can see that it's on 7.0.1 firmware. And if we go to the security fabric, we can see that it's connected here. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go connect the 8 port switch to port 23 of this one. All right, so we're going to take this small little jumper and we're going to connect port 23 to port 8. And we're going to go back upstairs and we're going to see how that looks in the management interface. All right, so up here in the management interface, we did pick up that switch already. And if we look at the port information for this switch, we can see that it's already established with the Forta link connection and the inner switch link. So let's authorize it. All right, so just in the nick of time for me to finish my lunch break, the uh, switch has shown up. They're both managed. So we're going to go into the security fabric. We're going to look at the physical topology now. And there you have it. Both of these switches are showing up. And then once we start adding devices, we'll start seeing the tree form. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is hook up a uh, link from port 7 of the 8 port switch into port B of the firewall so that there's redundancy built in. So we've got this firewall turned a little bit so we can get in here and see. And I'm going to plug port B into port 7 here. And then later on today we'll go look at what that looks like in the GUI. All right, so it took me a little bit longer than expected to get back to this. Um, and one thing that I did have trouble with was when I hooked up that interface, uh, B kept going disabled, and I was trying to figure out why. And in the process of me troubleshooting, I figured out that it was this setting right here, this Fortalink split interface. If you read the little pop-up, it says connect a Fortalink aggregate interface from one FortiGate to more than one Forta switch. So I thought this is the setting that I need to use. I want to hook up two Forta switches, but it wouldn't automatically create the loop. And I found out that that is because by default, 
the Fortilink aggregate interface. When split interface is enabled, only one link remains active. So it's essentially doing an active passive. So I wanted to turn that off. And uh, when I did turn that off, I was actually able to see that the Forta switches stacked successfully with the Forta link. And if we go to security fabric, it shows them as a fork as opposed to this switch being down link from this one. Back here on the managed Forta switches page, you can see the stack. Um, one of the cool things that's in here is that you can set up a reorder. Uh, so you can put your different tiers in here and reorder them. You can even click this button and let Fortinet auto arrange your stack. I don't know how I feel about that, but uh, it's a pretty cool feature. So I did create a couple networks and uh, we're, I plugged in an Xbox One and a Ubiquity access point. Um, so we're going to go to the Forta switch ports and we'll show you how to assign that VLAN. So Port one has the ubiquity access point over here, and I want its native VLAN to be on management. And I don't need to give it a media one yet because I don't have anything wireless on that. So I'll tr eventually trunk some um, Wi-Fi VLANs to this thing, and I'll put it here. And then over here on the other switch has the Xbox One. So we're going to make the native VLAN for this one, media. And then this is PoE. So when you right click this menu here, you can do a whole bunch of stuff straight from uh, the GUI. So you can reset PoE, you can set the mode if you want to do any of the security policies, and we'll get into that stuff later. Um, you can even disable the interface. So I want to disable this interface and power that down so that I can reset that access point and it can uh, come back up and do its Dora request and get an IP address. And then down here on port 13, we have the Xbox. So I do not want my Xbox to have a whole lot of stuff on it. So we are going to disable spanning. So this is the port view of the switch management interface, and then you can also look at it by faceplates. And this will help you keep an eye on your PoE budget as you start plugging things in. You can hover over this and see exactly what's hooked up to it. If we switch back to the port view, in the magical world of editing, I went ahead and created address objects for these. and they're physically attached to the security fabric via the switch. They have policies to get out to the internet and the Xbox is currently watching Falcon and Winter Soldier. So we should see some information on the topology. One device. There we go, there's the Xbox. So you can see that it's got its reservation, it's got its address object, this is its host name that it is telling us. Hardware, operating system, firewall, switch port. And uh, it's got 19 sessions. You can go through here. Once you get all this stuff built out, this dashboard is going to be really powerful for you. You can look at compromised hosts. You can look at risks. You can do a whole bunch of stuff on this dashboard. So look forward to getting more of this built out. But in the meantime, this is the general overview of how to assign VLANs and manage a Forta switch via the firewall. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, click subscribe, and turn on notifications because I'm going to be building out an entire enterprise network and you don't want to miss it. Catch you on the next video.